C F T R. How do you make it? Let's find out. All right, we're on two point four. Yep, and um, it's all about how do the proteins make the CFTR, or in the case of cystic fibrosis, how do they not? Yeah, how does it change? In cystic fibrosis, this protein is mutated. It's different. Yeah. And the thing that changes is the DNA. So before we actually go on to the DNA forming the proteins, you need to know about the DNA itself. You do. So, we should talk about that. Um, so, what's the DNA actually made up of? Well, we'll start with the genes. That's the most the simple part that the DNA is divided up by, is genes. Um, a thing you're familiar with from GCSE. Yeah, and because of that, you should know it's genes made up of bases. And these bases code for amino acids. They do. Which is what we covered there earlier. Yep. And the amino acids code for proteins, which is how our CFTR protein is formed. Yes. Um, so there's, there's also chromosomes of DNA that are not really anything to do with the forming of proteins. So we don't need to bother with them. No. But you will need to know that for the rest of your biology course. So if you're watching this and finding out you don't know anything about DNA, read up on it anyway, even yeah. though it's not for this particular topic. Um, so, enough about chromosomes. All of the genes in DNA make up something called a genome. Yeah. Wayne's a genome. A genome. Yeah, no. Yeah, you probably sort that out. Sort that out, so I'm not a hippie. No, but. Or a genome. Hippies. Genomes are hippies, let's be honest. Okay, so. so these make up a genome. They do. So, what is a genome, Wayne? Well, it's essentially the, the, the DNA, because it's all of the genes that make it up. It's the complete thing. Right. And um, DNA is a type of nucleic acid that unfortunately has a horrific name you need to remember. It does. DNA is actually, is actually, uh, is actually an acronym for deoxyribose nucleic acid. Yeah. Because it's, uh, it's an, I'll put it as a nucleic acid as an individual point. Yeah, it is, it is type of acid. Um, you need to know that now. And you just sort of need to know, oh yeah, that's DNA. Yeah, I, I think you do need to know that it is right. this. Right. This name does make sense. We'll explain to it in a minute. The actual structure of, of DNA. That makes part of the sugar. And well, that's the rest. Yeah, acid is made up of something called nucleotides, or you could call them mononucleotides, but yeah. you don't need to because it's just the one anyway, it's one nucleotide. Yeah, so and it's made up of this uh, deoxyribose sugar, nucleotide, a, and a phosphate, phosphate group, and a base. So I'll put that down, we've got a phosphate group, uh, the deoxyribose, deoxyribose sugar name there. Yeah. Deoxy is quite long and writing. And a base. base. So we're making the link, the bases. Yep, the base is quite important. You didn't count so much ETSC. Counts a lot more now. Yep, so I'll just circle the bases is what we're on to now. Yep, there's, there's four, four of them. types. There is. There is A, which bonds to T, and C, which bonds to G. But you need to go a little bit further, you need to know the names. You do. So, firstly, A is A to nine. Yep. C is cytosine. Cytosine, sorry, well, either T is thymine, thymine. and G is guanine. Like that, and as Trip said, A bonds to T, and C bonds to G. Now it becomes more important when we look at the actual structure of DNA. We draw a little drawing up here, and that's what these bases will be. Yeah. yeah. So, Another thing to mention, the phosphate bonds to the deoxyribose, the deoxyribose bonds to a base, as we've said. Yeah. Bonds by condensation reactions, which are familiar with. water. Um, now the base is on the inside, these, the, these are the letters on the inside, so it's oh, these, yeah. this deoxyribose and the phosphate that make up this, this what is black line here, the actual outside. Yeah. That bonds to that, which will then bond to another one of these to make up what's called a polynucleotide, because there's more than one nucleotide. Oh, yeah. chain. So, this is the background for DNA. I think we can now actually move on to uh, yeah. making the proteins. Making the proteins. Let's do that. Let's do it. There. Making proteins. Yep. Um, we're going to go on to the actual mechanism in just a second. First, there's a few bits of what we'll be assumed knowledge in the mechanisms yeah. and words and stuff that we're going to go through now. Kind of quick fact that we didn't include earlier, and that's uh, where the CFTR gene actually is in the DNA. Yep, and it's chromosome 7. Yep. Um, Fact, might be a marking know. point, so we've mentioned it. Maybe. Yeah. Right, now I want to do the assume knowledge bit. Yes, so 
we mentioned that amino acids are made from bases. Yeah. And we mentioned there was four bases, but there's more than four amino acids. This means that each base can't make its own amino acid. And um, to make the 20 amino acids, we have something called a triplet code. And what's that? We do. Well, we form something like this, like a section here, where each one of these would be something. B and A, maybe that would be a C. So it's basically just three bases, and the three bases code for one amino acid, rather yeah. than each base being its own. And that is where each one is, etc. And that can make load amino acids. And then proteins are made from different amino acids. They can be different lengths. So you can see how many proteins can be made it's from a this. So I'll put underneath it the word triplet. Yeah, because that's a triplet code. That is GCSE stuff, but we just thought we'd go through it again. Triplet code. And then for the uh, the main bit, which is the actual protein synthesis. Yeah, if, if we took a DNA strand and divided it up into the triplet codes like this, you'd soon run out of DNA. You would. And the DNA is a nucleus, and we make the proteins in the, the cytoplasm. cytoplasm. And the it's DNA can't fit through the uh, nucleopores. Nuclear pores. So. so it's something very clever. We make a copy of a strand of DNA, and that copy can leave. Yeah, it's And smaller. that's the part that makes the proteins. It is pretty swish. We use something called RNA. It's a bit different to DNA. First difference is that's an R, not a D. Stands for well, it's just just without the deoxy, so it's just ribose nuclear oh. nucleic acid, which is just a ribose sugar instead of a deoxy ribose sugar. Yeah. I'm just putting the name nucleic acid. Just a little bit different. It's a bit smaller. Also because it's only coding. For a little bit of the DNA, so you only have, it's the, all of the DNA is every protein you could make. Yeah, you only want one. We only want one protein per time this happens. And there's a few different types of this as well. Yes. But first, it's a little different DNA. Yeah. This one has A, C, G, and there's T. Yeah. T is non existent yeah. in this one. For uh, RNA, T, T goes. So and it's like called U. It's called your cell. They're different because RNA was actually first in biological history. That came first, had a different stuff in it, and then it made a nucleus, so DNA turned up. Yeah. So now let's get on to what Triv said a second ago, there being more than one type of this, and I'll do it in green. green. Okay. Which one first, Triv? Uh, RRNA. RRNA, okay. Which R is a RNA. ribosomal, which is the RNA that's present in each of the ribosomes. Ribosomes is the um, place where this all had the protein yeah, synthesis the, actually happens. The site of protein synthesis. So the ribosomes are made from our RNA. Yeah. Which one next? The yeah. M, yeah. Yeah. M which is messenger, which is the one that actually is the, the copy happens on and transporting one. Yep. So then there's T, T RNA. Which is one where stuff actually happens. Yes. This actually combines with T RNA. This is the mRNA, it will combine with the T RNA and then it makes the amino acids. Makes the amino acids. So let's actually do all this properly yeah, with the mechanisms, don't we? Right. protein synthesis. Okay. Protein synthesis. We're going to run you through the mechanism now. We so are. So we're on the start of the example in the book, and we're basically going to talk through it. Yes. So there's uh, two main phases called transcription and translation. There is. So we do transcription the other side. Yeah. I'll do that because that's the first step. Yeah. I'll do that transcription way. is the bit. It's all like describing where it's copied. That's the copying bit. But first, to copy DNA, you have to be able to see it, and then you go to unzip it. Yes. So I'll put um, DNA unzips. Basically, we're splitting this bit up so we can get to one of them. Now, these are kept together by hydro hydrogen bonds, so that's the marking point. You've got to break those. Which bonds must break? But you need a little bit of help. You need to use an enzyme. Yes, otherwise it'll take a very long time, because there's too much energy in a hydrogen bond to break without the enzyme. Yeah, so what is the enzyme with? It's RNA polymerase, and that's something you've got to know. Yep, that's another marking point. RNA, like that, like that. and then polymerase. Like polymer, polymer. then ease. He's really keep breaking up polymer. Makes sense. So, it's really hard to explain without drawing, so I'll draw it in a sec, but you're going to want, you want to make a copy of this strand, one of the strands. Yeah. So to do that, you actually have to copy this strand, because it's opposite. Yeah. And we call this the scent strand. We do, and we call this one because it's the opposite to it. And the anti scent strand. So then what we'll do is take we take a triplet code of the anti scent strand and we copy it with RNA. So remember we do. wherever there would be a T, it's now replaced with a U. Yep. And that's the only difference. You copy it. Opposite to A will be T, which is a U. It's changed to a U. 
C, C and G. So you make a triplet code with R and A, and it's got a special name. What's that, Triff? It's a codon. It's codon. There we go, sorry. A little brain freeze. So it's a codon, and you can see that this codon is then a copy of the sent strand, except T is replaced with U. Yeah. And that happens all the way down the chain, for however much it unzips. And that flies out the nucleus. Yes, which leads us on to the next stage. Yep, which is called translation. So, translation is now all out of the nucleus. This is the next part, this is what happens in the cytoplasm. It is. Ribosomes are the site of protein synthesis. So they you are. know that. So and RNA, they are RNA. RNA. RNA sorry, is involved. Ribosomes can be found free in the cytoplasm or near the rough endoplasmic reticulum, which yeah. you do at topic three. Um, that's where they're found. You have tRNA, which is transfer RNA. It is. And it looks a bit like this. It's got an amino acid to what looks like a codon. It's actually an anticodon. So if I label this up, anticodon, because it's the opposite to the codon and amino acid. So this one could be, and in this case it's going to be, the opposite to this, because that's how it bonds to the codon. So that'd be an A, that'd be an A, and that'd be a G, and that'd be a C. So if we just I'm just flipping this codon around so that it lines up nicely, you've got the U, the C, and the G. I'm just I'm just flipping it. Looks a bit friendlier then. Um, so then that makes all of this. So you've got an amino acid. But an amino acid on its own doesn't make a protein. So it, it doesn't bond seem a lot of them. So they bond by uh, peptide bonds. Yep, so I'll just draw another one. If we imagine the same thing happened here. Yep. We haven't got any lengths. We just have lines. Yeah, okay. But it'd be a similar thing. Then I'll make that. And then I make another one. And these will bond Ooh, in red. Yeah, it's a peptide, peptide bond. bond. And lots of these happen because this chain will be much, much longer than this. And that's how you make your proteins. Yeah, just keep going on, sort of like a sort of like a chain reaction. You just sort of push them all along and it'll keep going for ages. So there's a few new words. You've got to understand the sense strand is the one that's copied with the codon. The anti-sense strand is the one that's physically copied. Yeah. Then the anti-codon is what bonds to the codon. Then that's, you've got your amino acids coming off, peptide bonds, protein. That's what you've got to know. Yeah, done. And that's, in fact, topic 2.4 done. That is topic 2.4 done, so... Uh, brief summary. Brief summary. All right. Cool kids. Summary time. Yeah, topic uh, 2.4. Yep. Sum it off. Step out DNA. Yeah, we spoke about uh, genes and all the genes making the genomes and genes making the, the bases yeah. for all amino acids. Um, amino acids make proteins and that's what you actually want. They were talking about the CFTR protein being mutated. Mm -hmm. um, deoxyribonucleic acid. Yeah, that's what DNA stands, DNA stands for. for. Um, the idea that it's a phosphate to a ribo sugar, well, deoxyribo sugar. Into a base. To a base. Yeah. Then straight J with the bases all facing in. A pairs to T, C pairs to G. Yep, yeah, it's all held up together by hydrogen bonds, making the double helix. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the first load. Then we're going to do protein synthesis, but first we do a revision of the words, essentially. Yes, like we did a triplet code. Being three bases, and yeah. it's not each base coding for an amino acid, it's three bases code for an amino acid. Uh, RNA is yeah, RNA was ribonucleic was. acid without the deoxy at the beginning. Yeah, it's got a U instead of T. Uracil. They went on to the protein synthesis. Next to the actual protein synthesis. Two stages. Sense strand, anti sense strand, copied with a code off, bonds to an anti -codon. Anti codon, peptide bonds. That's protein. pretty much the gist. Two main stages transcription, translation. Transcription in the nucleus. Translation out the nucleus. Uh, at the ribosomes, in fact, being yeah. the site. Um, pretty much it. That is pretty much it. Quite a small unit again. But a very important unit. This yes. is not that the others aren't important, but this no, is a this massive. No, quite mark heavy. Yeah, because there's a lot of words. There are a lot of words they can test you on. Um, 
That's it, that's topic uh, 2.4. We'll okay. see you at topic 2.5 then. Alright, let's crack on. Wayne, like and James Trebet. Yeah.